Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for today if you are a gamer and played the BGMI in any android device probably you didn't code the ultra fps mode to force the maximum screen refresh rate which supports the highest refresh rate of your device BGMI or PUBG will still works on the default or fluctuating fps like here my OnePlus 9RT has a support of 120 hertz screen refresh rate for the display but still with the extreme or the ultra fps setting In the BGMI, my gameplay only works at the constant 60 FPS all the time. Some software OEMs added the support for the extreme FPS for the BGMI in their devices like Xiaomi, but the OnePlus, Poco still didn't have this. So today in this video, we are going to show you the non-root method to force enable the maximum FPS setting for the BGMI or the PUBG for all Android devices from the Android 12 to Android 14. but i can't guarantee it will work for all the devices you have to test it yourself you may have seen this method in lots of videos or youtube but after android 14 none of that videos method are working so watch this video carefully without skipping any part of this video because if you miss single step it will won't work properly now with the further do let's get started a new adventure To use this method without root you need to download this application called as Sizuku from the Play Store install the app and open it here at the top you will see it showing Sizuku is not running to make it work you will get the two non root method one is wireless debug and another one is USB debugging using the PC there are written tutorials are available within this application itself but today i am going to show you only wireless debugging method which is the easiest way to use this mod So let's start. First go to the about device section. There is search for the build number. If you are using the OnePlus device, it will be available under the version section. Tap 8 times on this, it will enable the developer setting. Now swipe back and under the additional setting, you will find the developer setting. In this you will find the another option that is the wireless debug toggle. Enable this toggle immediately you will see it's asking to connect any Wi-Fi network to toggle on this setting. So we have to first connect the device to any Wi-Fi network available nearby you. Once done, you will get the wireless debug prompt. Accept it. Now go back to the Sizuku application. There, tap pairing option. App will again ask you to give the notification access to Sizuku application. After giving the access to the notification, go back again again tap on the pairing option. App will redirect you to the same wireless debug setting of the developer option. Keep the toggle on and tap on the setting. Under the wireless debug setting you will find the pair device with the pairing code option tap on it immediately you will see the code on your phone and at the same time Sizuku login option pops up in the head up notification now type the same code and tap on the arrow button next go back and tap start button present in the Sizuku application app will run some commands and request for some access for file manager accept that That's it. Suzuki is now paired and showing the Suzuki is running with the version 13.5 with the wireless ADB method. Now you need to download the Zarchur file manager application. Download the application from the Play Store, install it, then open it. There tap three dot menu available from the top right corner and there select the setting option, then tap on the root option. Here at the top we will see the type of root as a Suzuku if you are using the magic or the kernel su root you will see the direct root access here now enable all the toggles for three different settings available below it now swipe back and under the authorizer application option enable the toggle for the zr jewel to give permission of Suzuku to the application this all process we did to get the access for the android obb and some advanced files of bgmi game setting Now download the active.sav file given under the video description it just 12 kb in the size in the file manager then tap on the android folder there tap data there search for the bgmi game application next tap files then tap on the folder named as the ue4 game next choose shadow striker extra again tap on the shadow striker extra folder then tap on the saved folder scroll down there tap on the save games named folder Now scroll down to the bottom and you will find the same name file that is the active.sav. 
long press on this file and select the delete this file this is a different way for pasting the file lots of user will show you to directly copy paste the downloaded new active cell file it is not working in android 14 it will show you some error so follow same like as shown here now go back and copy our new 12kb active.sav file go back to the same folder where you deleted the active.sav file now we have to paste the file here using the round hamburger menu available at the right bottom corner so our new active.sav file of 12kb pasted here now close the zarchware application under the app manager setting open the bgm or pubg application therefore close the bgmi app again open the application in the app settings, select the extreme FPS with the smooth graphics. After this setting, start the gameplay. And boom, you are running with the BGMA or the PUBG with the 120 FPS. If your device has the FPS tracker like this game space setting of OnePlus devices, it's showing we are running the gameplay with the Force 120 FPS at the extreme FPS mode. There may be some fluctuation happens in the FPS between 115 to 120 but it will remain constant nearby to the 120 FPS which is amazing thing. So we unlocked the force 120 FPS for the BGMA or PUBG via this mod tutorial. Now let's check out some limitations of the mod. It may or may not work for all the devices if it works for you but the FPS may fluctuate all the time and it goes down to the original values too. So you have to try it yourself and let us know in the comment section is it working for you or not along with your device name. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing mod content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.